Hey, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Um, you are the president of Nigeria, and I've not even led before anywhere. Just Welcome back to our YouTube channel. My name is Okiolua to be love our faith. I talk about faith, lifestyle, and nursing and food. So on today's channel, I want to thank everybody that subscribed to this channel, everyone that has commented, and everyone that has shared our content. And I pray God will bless you. So today I'm coming here with a banger. With a bam bam banga. So today gonna be talking about having a book review so i'm going to be reviewing a book by my very good friend Tunde rema and this book i've read it twice and each read it gets better basically i'm not giving anybody this book so now i like how the book came the part I, I must commend i like when children of god are doing things well the quality of this book is fabulous and I like this short thing that came with the book and it says your life is beautiful can you see it and i pray our lives remain beautiful in jesus name amen so the book came in five chapters and i like the way it was um i'm gonna show you in a minute mr waiting has two yeah the first chapter was talking about waiting whose idea it was and chapter two was talking about the indispensability of waiting Chapter 3 is talking about the posture of waiting. Chapter 4 is the shift. And chapter 5 is the shift effect. So this is our book that we're going to be reviewing today. So permit me to be looking down at my phone. So I'm going to be sharing things that I learned while from reading this book. It resonated with me. I'm going to be sharing with you. And I will ensure and advise you. You head on to his Instagram page at Today Remember. Just like Today Remember is going to pop up. And... Is leadership up tr leadership up then you can get the book and you'll be blessed i can't say more than that so now what i learned is that your waiting is a significant time of your life and it is god's idea i want you to know that like god the scripture says that the plan i have for you is a thought of good and to bring it to an expected end so in every season of your life god is aware of your life so that seemingly waiting season of your life is god's idea for you and that is why we must maximize it basically so it is a preparatory phase it is where the pruning takes place it's where total submission and total re reliance on god is solidified so the waiting phase is a period of your life i like when you said it's the preparatory stage for your life because at that stage nothing is going on is a is a time that you actually when you are not seeing what is going on it's like a part that you are, you are practicalizing the face you are not seeing what's happening next but you still have total reliance on god i'm like when he emphasizes it because like yes this is it it is a phase that a lot of things happen a lot of a lot of building happen building of character building of stamina building of building of yourself for the next phase of your life so it's a very very crucial and important stage of your life another part is the waiting season bind is a, is a period to bind together with god i've already said and build strength it is a season for you to build capacity because what is coming next is definitely bigger and better so you it's not a time to complain it's not a time to murmur it's not a time for you to feel in some kind of way it's a time for you to to build capacity and rely on god build strength hear from god in your waiting stage it doesn't mean that everything is stopped it means nothing is going to go on in your life nah sis nah bro nah sis nah 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 nah, nah. it's a stage to build strength it is a stage to build your total reliance put your total trust in the lord he said that put your like pull your trust your all in the lord in preparation for the next phase of your life the study of abraham in like in the book and talked about the promise of calling him imagine he called abraham the father of many nations when abraham i don't even had one one child he didn't even have a child like yeah he gave birth to child late so you are calling somebody a father like it's just very very figurative you're just saying oh so be you are the um 
what was the um you are the um you are the president of nigeria and i've not even led before anywhere just saying i've not led before anywhere even though i have like i've not led anywhere in that kind of capacity before or i've not even become a local government chairman and god's telling me oh to be going to be the president it looks foolish it looks seemingly foolish but throughout we can see that he was still consistent in his work abraham abraham that's what they call a man of faith god <laughs> a man of faith so when god asked him to sacrifice his only son again after which i was like you guys wait god called him a father of many nations you gave him one child then okay it's two the one from the um the maid but if the one from his wife sarah one then god now asked him that he should go and sacrifice the one child you gave me so now let's bring it to real life situation now um I really desire to get married <laughs> so i'm dating somebody and god is asking me to break up with the person okay that example doesn't click right i want to look for another example now I like, okay okay i i'm working my way through i want to be i god has told me that i'm going to become the president the um head of a uh, who like the general head director there head of who and the uh, I have an opportunity that pops up for me to work in one of the project with WHO, maybe as a project manager or something. And God is telling me no. I'm like, how does that relate? God, you told me that you are seeing me there, and now there's an opportunity for me to work in that organization. You are telling me to wait. Like, like God, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. How am I supposed to wait? But Abraham at that season obeyed and he went. I'm like, yo guys, yo guys. So your waiting is so the next thing I learned is that your waiting is a system of manifestation authorized by God. Is your is a system of manifestation. So how would I say the system of manifestation? Your waiting is a system for your manifestation. So and um, how I like put it now. My own simply explanation, what I see is that before we see the gleamy, shiny light, like for you to see a very bright light, it means there has to be gro like gross darkness. Like now, in a room that everywhere is dark, once you bring a power lamp to power, everywhere becomes bright. So it's just like your waiting season is a dark phase. Then it is a system that launches you to the manifestation, to the bright light that everybody sees. So it is a system. So in a system, if you jump something in a configuration, if you jump a step, it will affect the manifestation. Or when you are trying to code and you miss a code, there's going to be like something that doesn't work how fine. You get my point. So that is it. Then whatever action you take in this season is very important. That cannot be overemphasized. If you spend the season grumbling instead of building you will see the results no that do you understand so whatever you do in that season is very important your season of waiting wait on god listen for instructions to build for the next phase of your life listen to what god is saying for the next phase of your life then whatever action you take in this season but i've said it before don't waste your season in fact i've not even seen it yet and i told you don't waste your season company work in faith work in faith then what is waiting what is waiting Wait, waiting is not a period of inactivity it is not a period of impassiveness a waiting is a season of creation and betting according to romans 8 24 to 26 it's waiting season is also personal it is when i mean personal you cannot compare your waiting season with another person's waiting season that is it oh this person oh um i like this thing let me tell you two twins that they gave it to on the same day with different time have two different paths in this life one person might blossom first even am i even going so far two flowers in the same stock one opens before the other so your waiting season is personal don't compare i used to say compare is the initiative of joy it steals your joy stay on your lane stay on the track 
your focus on Christ. Ignore the side noise and comparison. It is also a period to trust God and waiting is open. Waiting is you have vo- waiting uh, um, in your waiting season avoid shortcuts there are sometimes that some things that come like suggestions that look like i want to jump out of this season of my life see your waiting season can be the best season of your life because don't try to jump out of it because it is the season that like i said earlier the pruning or cause is a season that things that you need to shed off Things you need to build up, skills you need to build up for the next season. God is helping you to build on them. And waiting is fruitful. In as much as it is a season that looks like people don't like you in that season, waiting season, waiting season is the most, is your fruitful season. Because I feel personally from what I get, like it's the period that you are being planted for the manifestations, like just planting a seed. And before you start seeing the sprout or the, a sign of life, you will think nothing is going on. A decay goes on. During that period of decay, God keep dying the things, you're dying the fleshy desires, killing your weaknesses and making you, empowering your strength basically so your waiting season is a fruitful season your waiting season is also it helps you build out of genuity and creativity it means it makes you find your voice it has and it also builds on your creativity so like yes some creatives say that oh i'm taking my time off in order to be equip themselves get some energy juices it also happens to us as believers sometimes god will ask you to take a break stay in my presence wait on wait wait for wait don't go yet don't start yet so um that is all i would share about the book there are other things there are a lot of things that i've learned from the book but these are things that are particular to me that i learned from the book so guys all i have to say is that and i've experienced myself waiting season is a beautiful season it's the beautiful season of your life so my advice to you is life is beautiful mm? ensure you don't waste your waiting season in your waiting season there might be tendency that you want to complain you want to nag you want to jump out of it i just want to encourage you that i want to encourage you in the lord that stay there till god launches you out you might be here oh god and god has placed you in this space if you so long stay enjoy that season Years to come, you look back and see that is the most beautiful season of your life. And now we've come to the end of this video, family members. I want you to do something at this video, at the end of this video. Please, if you have learned anything from this video, please comment, like this video, share it with your friends and share with your family members. And uh, please and um, please subscribe to this channel. If you, the more you press the like button, the more you subscribe, the more people will be able to get content like this. And bye, guys. We'll be back again. Yo, yo. So we'll be back again with another book review. So ensure you grab your copy of our book. Do not wait. Do not waste your waiting. And it's very important. If I from the words to not see so then your waiting season, I want us to just close our eyes as we pray and say this word, dear Lord, Father. I, I know I'm in my waiting season right now, Father Lord. I acknowledge that you are my strength. Father, give me the grace to wait on you. Give me the grace to enjoy this waiting season. Father, give me the grace to be patient. Father, give me the grace to be able to build up capacity, build up strength. Father Lord, everything you need to prune for the manifestation to come. Father, let everything take place. Father, give me the grace to see what you are doing in my life in this season, oh Lord. Don't let me rush out of this season without being properly cooked, being properly prepared for what is to come, oh Lord. Father, help me, Lord. I thank you because I know you've helped me. I thank you because you've strengthened my face in this waiting season. I thank you because I'm not going to complain in this waiting season. Father, Lord, I thank you because I know that this waiting season is going to be a beautiful season of my life. And I thank you because you've answered all our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Amen. So, bye, guys. <laughs>